Hello and welcome back to a very gloomy Phuket. Yep, it's miserable. But it's rainy season. What do we expect? And today we're going to be kicking off with the best breakfast I've had in Thailand so far. Maybell's Coffee Shop. Now if you don't know already, if you haven't seen it, Richie and Maybell have their own channel. And Maybell has her own channel as well, Maybell. So check them out, subscribe. We're going to be looking down Cata Beach and a viewpoint and I've got hope that the part the clouds are going to part as quick as it can come down it can stop so let's hold up so yeah we're gonna have a breakfast here we're gonna walk on Cata Beach there's Maybell busy away hello Maybell <laughs> Check the menu out. It's really up. I'll go and park myself over here, away from that music. And I'll show you the menu. Now this is a bit different from what I normally get. You'll notice, normally I go for my traditional Thai. But this is well worth it. It's uh, Like I said, it's the best breakfast I've had so far in Thailand, never mind Phuket. I haven't got my reading glasses. It's absolutely, I got soaked coming here. From P Patong, it's about uh, what, 17 minutes on the on the scooter. And this is based in Kata, where I'll put the location and everything in the description. I mean, it's a bit more pricey than what I normally get, but um, the, 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 the quality of the food reflects that. Now I already know what I'm going for. Those. 80 baht a bottle, it's good that. Potatoes and egg, breakfast here about there. A veggie breakfast there. The big daddy. I'm going for a breakfast, a full breakfast. The two poached eggs fried, or scrambled tea and toast. And you get a little small breakfast down there. Then of course to do all your Thai meals as well. Oh look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Loads going on. You can see the quality of the food. New Zealand steak. Spicy chicken. Right, I'll give you a quick look around the coffee garden because it's raining. It will be a quick look under the music. There's a nice Instagram spot there. And there's the garden. Nice waterfall down the bottom. I don't want to go too far in disturbing people. But yeah, it's lovely. Really, really, really nice. Great surroundings. Here's the man himself, Richie. How are you doing, Rich? Hi. All right, man. Right, I'll get me uh, breakfast ordered. The rain subsided a bit. I am very confident that we're going to get a nice walk on Cata Beach. I'm going to go and check out uh, Caron, or is it Kamala Viewpoint? One or the other, but it looks like a nice one. Oh, here's the breakfast. Carp. No bin, yeah. That was a good time. Thank, you, Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at that. Poached eggs, amazing. Nice middle bacon. Now oh, I've had this breakfast before. While I've been here. HP sauce, it's got to be HP. Get that out of your way. 
Now this breakfast is 250 baht. Mushrooms, amazing. Nice meaty sausage. Let's get one of these eggs opened up there. Look at that. It's what you call a good poached egg. nice middle bacon so you might think 250 baht is expensive for Thailand it's not for England because you're not getting the food uh, imported into England where Richie is in the Thailand you can't just go out anywhere in Thailand and buy middle bacon you've got to find a good butchers and a good butchers cost good money it's amazing Really nice middle bacon, really nice fat meaty sausage, great poached eggs, can't go wrong. Right, let's check out the beach. Right, there you go, the proof's in the pudding, empty place, absolutely amazing. Thank you. And the staff here are brilliant. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Still no rain, really good. Oh, that was amazing, it really was, really good. Well worth the 250 baht. The price coming exchange will be in the description as always with the location, like I said, of Richie Maybell's or Maybell's coffee shop. Lovely. Great start of the day. And we're down at a wild and windy Cutter Beach. Two little birds. Come here birdie, <laughs> run away from me. Yeah, cut the beach. Let's see how many people have braved the waves. On a very gloomy morning, it's starting to pick up now. All the red flags are out. It's not stopping people. It's a beautiful beach. You've got loads in the room, down from where I am at Patong. You've got Kataria, then you've got uh, Caron, then Patong, then uh, Kamala. And you've got loads of beaches, I think we covered the, the others when I was doing the, uh, the, the secluded beach tour I just couldn't get up to as many as I wanted We've got a little walk down, uh, down Cutler Beach and then I'll take you to a viewpoint I think by then it'll have cleared up a lot We'll have a little look, look about Phuket today, a little island tour if possible if the weather stays okay Unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut my trip to, uh, to, to uh, Phuket short or shorter than I wanted to because it's, the weather, I mean, it's expected during rainy season but um, it, it's been really, really bad I think normally it's worse in October but I think they've had it in September this year so hopefully the people who are coming on holiday in September won't get it as bad uh, in October, sorry few surfers out there I've well, just on the road from the beach we've got a few food vendors papaya salad, grilled salad they've got loads of different side dishes on prices as well Fried rice prawn, 70 baht. Pad thai, 70 baht. 
coconuts, 40 and 50 baht. Really good prices for the beach. Nothing like a uh, Patong. All the burgers there, 70 to 100 baht. Yeah, very, very good prices considering you're on the beach. Patong's a lot more expensive. Swaddy cap. Can I get a banana and teller? I'll come back in two minutes. Let's walk down there and come back. Cup and cap. Pay now. Pay now, yeah? Make sure I don't want to run off. I haven't had one for a couple of weeks. Don't judge me. <laughs> I have got a sweet tooth in there somewhere. Come, come on, Carp. I'll take you to this little surfing spot over the road from uh, Canna Beach. I've got about 10 seconds in here for the music. There, yeah, it looks good. It's, uh, super surf. Super surf, Canna. Very nice place. Let's get away from that music. Playground for the kids. And they've got all exercise benches. All the parks in Thailand, or the vast majority that I've been in, have all got exercise benches and you get the odd ones in the UK that I've noticed, but they're everywhere, yeah, absolutely everywhere. And the ones that are in the UK have just been left to wreck and ruin. That's a nice little spot. Right, let's go and get me pancake. 50 baht it was. Banana and Nutella roti. Or a pancake as we call them. Oh, look at that. A bag full of naughtiness. What did you pick up? Could have cut it better. You see that? Oh, amazing. Really nice. He's running the pancakes off. <laughs> Car on viewpoint. Can't get next to it. Big photo spot apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's a Caron view viewpoint. Caron Beach. Little shopping area. Toilet. Oh, this does look like an amazing view. Like I always say in Thailand, if the search a viewpoint, you know it's going to be good. Because everywhere is a good view. Instagrammy spots. That's where we've just been down the bottom there in Kata. Loving life there. <laughs> Take a little walk on this side. Doesn't look as busy, but that might be for a reason. Drones on. Ah, oh, look at that. It's a bit like um, Ko Chang. 
you've got the beach on one side and behind you you've got all the mountains beautiful I could feel the rain in the air when I was riding up here so we'll see how it goes he's a, a sea eagle here this is a big pet hater of mine another one it's like the elephants riding the elephants the sea eagle's been taken out of the wild tied to a shopping cart for people to come over and to get photos taken with it think about these things see how it's tied to the side you know that that bird should be in the wild not tied to a bloody motorbike so people can get photos taken with it I know it's boring but they're just my thoughts like I said like I've said before everyone's got an opinion I'm just voicing mine and I think that is bad yes it's been raining again it's now six o'clock and because it's so late I've got a break in the clouds I'm going to nip through the street food market to finish it off now it's only a little small one it's right by the sea and it's right at the end of uh, Patong Beach but it's the more rocky part this is more of a local market rather than for the tourists trying to get across the road let's see there's a few surfers out there Chicken, seafood, some green lip mussels, chicken, beef. Some dumplings there. Well, this one I noticed the other day you get a lot of the uh, the, like the buffet type ones where you get meals that are already made up and then you, they, they serve you them and people sit out the back of the stalls and eat the food whether they'll be doing it now when it's just been raining I'm not sure there's some mushrooms over there Fish sticks, French fries, all your chicken. Well, like I said, it's only small, it only goes about thirty stalls long. And this is more of a, a halal a milk food, food market so you'll see a lot of people wearing the headdresses and what have you because this is where they come this is their market there you see what I mean by people sitting out the back of the markets and eating the food next to the sea lovely little market I think that was chow mein he was cooking back there. Oh, I'm a, I do, do love the chow mein. Might have to get one of them. There's a lot of people jumping out the way of the camera there. <laughs> A lot of steak burgers.
ประจำนะครับเราคิดว่าที่นี่จะเปิดทุกวันเลยจนถึงประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9ประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9ประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9ประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9ประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9ประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9ประมาณ9โมงเย็นวันที่9What you do there is you get the, the clay pot with some red hot water in it, really hot water, and then you get the noodles and your uncooked meat, and then you gradually put them in uh, as as uh, as you go on, and then it makes like a soup. So you get like a clay pot soup, and it cooks when it's in the red hot water, so it like boils. I had one of them at Kanchanaburi, but it was too dark to show you on the camera. There's your durian. Right, I'll fly back down and I'll get uh, a couple of things and I'll show you what I got. There's Patong Beach down the bottom there. So we're just out the way, you got all them rocks. So we're just out the way of all the tourists so you don't get tourist prices. What about that for a background? Doesn't go any better than that, does it? It wasn't uh, chow mein, it was pad thai, I should have known. But uh, I haven't had pad thai since I've been in Thailand, so I got one, uh, prawn pad thai. Before then, I got these. Oh, well, the, white, the white ones, these are uh, prawn, prawn dumplings. Bang them. Green ones. That's what I can't remember. Oh, chicken. <laughs> they got like a nice sauce on them. Oh, that's bomb. Well, the place where I'm getting the pad thai from, that's who gave me the table. Someone's been shot. <laughs> Shooting in Patong. Oh, they're really nice. Where's my pad thai? There it is. They're really nice. That was uh, 40 baht for, um, for 10. It's like a pound, $1.20. These are pad thai. Uh, them prawns. Can you see? <laughs> Never easy. It's only a small table. It's got your flat rice noodles, onions, bean sprouts, a bit of lime. Some little chunks of chicken in there. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. See, that's all he's doing on that one stall. He's just doing pad thai. He'll have been doing that for years. And like I've been saying in other vlogs, once they've been doing it for years and they're just doing one dish, they've got it nailed, they've got it down to a tea. That was awesome. Just a little bit more of a kick.
I do like me spice. I just got one of these problems open. Well, I'm. Hey. Oh, some tired people they suck the juices out of the uh, out of the prawns heads because that's where you get a lot of the flavour not me it needs fully doing <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you like it, subscribe, like, join me on the next one. Thanks again. Have a good day.